I'm super excited to announce that I'm going to be driving the Huna Pegasus of Pikes Peak International Hill Climb this year. Oh boy, Leah Block just announced she's making a tribute run this June at the 2023 Pikes Peak International Hill Climb. Guess what she's driving? The Huna Pegasus. The mobile one slash Hoonigan creation that is 1,400 horsepower, no less. Same as the Hoonicorn, which she's also dragged. And I get pretty nervous just looking at it. Could she be gearing up for a Huni Pegasus Gymkhana? Gymkhana Grid is back for the first time since 2019, but no word on Gymkhana 11 yet. It's not a timed run. She's just getting her feet wet on the legendary mountain. And maybe warming up for a future run? Could she be gunning to beat Sebastian Loeb's gas-powered 2013 record? He set it in a Peugeot 208 rally car, 8 minutes 13 seconds. The overall record is 7 minutes 57 seconds, set in 2018 by Romain Dumas in a Volkswagen IDR electric car. The city of Colorado Springs estimates that the average person takes 1 to 3 hours to drive the course. Leah's been pretty busy lately, racing against the last Gymkhana star Travis Pastrana in Cletus's Freedom 500 in police interceptor Crown Vix outfitted with Nas around a 3-8 mile oval course. Hey, why not? She's also competed in the Olympus Rally event in Washington. One cannot help but compare this leg of her journey to Acura's anime series Chiaki's Journey, which tells the story of a young woman who drives a Type S up Pike's Peak to give her father's death meaning. It's one of the most touching and exciting car commercials you'll ever see, and it made me think of memories of the late great Ken Block. The Huni Pegasus is the brainchild of rally legend Ken Block, Derek Dauncey, Mobile One, and BBI Autosport. Racing Pikes Peak was one of Block's biggest childhood dreams, and this pink pig was built to be the ultimate Pikes Peak machine. Why is Pikes Peak so hard? It was built in 1888 and only got paved in 2011. Typical contractor, am I right? Pikes Peak is the second oldest continuous contest of speed in the US next to the Indianapolis 500. Pikes Peak ain't a part of nothing else in the way the Baja 1000 and Mint 400 are connected, for example. And there are only four practice mornings, including race day since it's a public road, owned by the US Forest Service. It's 12.4 miles, has 156 turns, many of which are blind and not very consistent guardrails, that Colorado weather is all over the place, and starts, starts at 9,390 feet. Air is real thin up there, so it's hard to breathe. Even the car will be starved for air to burn fuel, so EVs kind of have an advantage. Believe it or not, since its inception, there have only been seven deaths on the Pikes Peak hill climb. Four of those were riders in the motorcycle competition, which has been disbanded since 2022. It doesn't even compare to the Nürburgring's 70 body count, which we talk about in our Gran Turismo slash Jan Martinborough video we just released. So is Leah ready? You're never really ready. But if she's patient, doesn't flat out too much, and is conscious of attrition, she should be all right. The Huni Pegasus's livery was designed by Trevor Andrews of Gucci Ghost fame. It's actually a tribute to Porsche's 1970 Le Mans winner, the 917. Even though it posted a DNF the following year, the Pink Pig livery is one for the ages and is one of the most recognizable in the racing world. Check out our video on how cars are painted for more on liveries. Porsche made a revivalist Pink Pig in 2018 and showed it off at Le Mans. Back to Leah. We wish you luck, Leah B. At 16, you're living the dream and making your family proud, we're sure. Onwards and upwards, always.